Hi everyone, it's Debbie Ann. I have a new journal I wanted to show you. This one is a custom order and I'm just about ready to uh, ship it out. And this video will only be uh, released once the recipient has the journal. Making custom journals is always uh, an extra challenge because you are working with some of the client's preferences and so it'll stretch your imagination and the possibilities a little bit. I'll start with the journal and this is a cover from 1917 if I remember correctly and I've had it a couple of years and I was really excited when the client ended up choosing this one. I don't typically do anything to my covers to alter them and uh, this one was just so stunning on its own but uh, over the course of all the years that it's been around something had happened to it where it looked like maybe some paint or bleach or something um, had kind of like sprayed the bottom here so I wasn't sure what it was um, once I got the cover cleaned it wasn't going away so I think it was like that the actual book cloth was bleached by something so because those stains were so white in comparison to the dark cover it was distracting so I ended up using a permanent um, calligraphy ink and some distress inks just to give it like a more of a blended appearance here so I had to do it on a little bit on the corner here and here and then a little bit on this corner so it's just subtle but it's um, it's just makes it a little bit better I think the client wanted me to use some images from a couple of my digi collections so one of them was purple rain and then uh, there was also love and hope and uh, I was asked to also use some elements from Summer's End so these are all kind of like mixed in together in here so here I just did my typical uh, envelope pocket I've got some of my grungy um, vintage tape in here throughout I can leave a link to the tutorial for how I make this stuff super easy and then throughout I made some tuck spots using sort of junky materials that I had on hand like paint cards and game cards and banknotes just to give it a little bit of fun elements so here I just uh, embellished this little tuck spot I had a lot of leeway in here I was given some uh, flowers as a preference but I was given a lot of leeway as far as what else I could include so some of the things that were asked were some religious elements so I've got a little card here and a catalog card and these are the scrappy uh, stamp clusters this one here and the other ones uh, I will also leave the link to that video so that's what this um, that's what they were for was for this project okay so and then throughout I like I said I used banknotes and little elements like that and some postage stamps just to dress up the pages that were a little bit more blank and that's a rubber stamp from uh, Cavallini and company I did that throughout same with here This journal will be used for memory keeping, so I gave it a lot of journaling space, but also some interesting elements for uh, perhaps adding travel ticket stubs and that sort of thing. Another little stamp embellishment there, and there as well. This is a tuck spot. This is one of the cards from the Summer's End collection, and so is the little sentiment. And then here I've got a catalog card with some tape on it. 
This is one of those scrappy clusters. Another banknote cluster there, and a stamp. This is a pocket and tuck spot, so you can tuck in stuff behind the uh, pocket, and you can use the pocket itself. And then over here I've got this little guy who is leaning on a photo slide. These are left open for sliding things into, uh, and so over here I've got an alteration card and I just uh, clipped it on. Over here I have a side tuck with just a little diner um, receipt, and the button card here still had a few buttons and I added a beautiful stamp on the bottom there. There are things in here that only the um, client will find personalized and so I'm not going to go over those as they are personal. Here's another one of those scrappy stamp clusters. Another card from the summer's end with the little sentiment there. And then the hearts on a string another scrappy cluster. This little tuck spot I made with a merchandise tag that had kind of like a leaf background, so I added the stamp cluster onto the front of that. And this one is on the glassine pocket. And then I added my sticker on the inside back cover there. And then I included a box of all kinds of things uh, related to the requested themes um, that we had discussed. Here I have one of those Tim Holtz uh, stencil chips, and inside it, just to contrast a little, uh, is a postage stamp that has clocks and um, a little bit of purple in there. So that was just so that once you have the chip on there, this was a little too busy and it just wasn't showing up a lot. And it's the bottom of a note card box, so I still have the top that slides over, but I really liked this little scallop here. Um, so I thought this was perfect for some ephemera. This is a little uh, booklet I made with a first day cover envelope and I embellished the front. So the inside just has um, some coffee dyed paper and this is just a little collage on the cover. In here there's this little envelope with a tiny little card that has a postage stamp on it. And then this is just blank. So I had some off cuts and I thought maybe this would be a nice little uh, addition for writing little notes or something. And the um, the envelope itself opens on the side here. Oh, and I have a playing card in there.
These I had just tucked in uh, so when they're in the box you can see the leaves sticking out at the top. But these are from the Summer's End collection. In here I have a couple of little cards. This is just pocket travel trivia. This is a uh, printed card. And this is a special little card for me. It was part of a box that I inherited from my grandmother. She had a lot of prayer cards over her lifetime. And this was one of them in there. And I really wanted to share some of those in this journal. So I chose this one. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says Life of Christ. And that's just the extra little uh, tear-off part when you've got those stamps, postage stamps. So that was the title of that particular stamp. So I just collaged it there. And it's just blank on the back. Here I have a uh, pin, and it's an angel, and I just pinned it to the string that I've got, to the twine that I've got on here. And uh, there's a eyelet there. And this is like a modern postcard that I got some years ago. I think they were on eBay. It was like a package or something. But I collaged a love poem there and a vintage or a Victorian die cut. In this uh, vellum envelope, I have a couple of things. So we have another little, this is a prayer card also from my grandmother's box. And this is like a, it's not one of those really vintage ones. It was probably picked up on a, at a, an event or something. So I included that. This one here is also an old prayer card. This is a banknote, and I just really loved the old cathedral image there. I thought that was really special. And then here there's a hymn. This is five loaves and two fishes, so it goes with the cover. here I had this off cut from something else that I'll show you shortly. Uh, so I wanted to make just a little extra thing. So this is a folder and inside there's a tuck spot with a couple of journaling cards. And on the cover I removed the slide and put another bird image. And I added one of these little sentiment cards. So these just tuck in like that. And they are just uh, reproductions of postcards I have in my stash, and I shrunk them down. Here I have a Russian note card, and I believe this is from um, the Russian celebration of women. I think it's like May 8th or something. I'll have to check on that, but most of my stash is um, has the 8 on there, so I think it's like a, a national celebration over there. Anyway, I just collaged some sheet music and a postage stamp on there, just to give it an extra little something. This was um, an envelope from my junk mail that I eco-dyed last summer. And I just added a few stamps on there. And then inside I've got a couple of gorgeous laminated prayer cards. And these were gifted to me uh, a few years back by a dear friend um, when I was going through something difficult. And so these have some special meaning for me. Um, but I really wanted to uh, pay them forward. So they are going in this um, envelope here. Here I have another one of those Russian uh, 
Uh, this one's a postcard, and I just embellish it with a stamp there. Here I've got an old envelope from the 60s. Uh, and then I made some cards with uh, magazine images. Uh, things that I thought would go well in this project. So we've got the chickadee here on these, um, what are these? Asters? What does it say? Yeah, New England Asters. And then I just embellished with a ticket there. This is an image of a hummingbird moth, and I get these in my garden every summer. They're one of my favorite little creatures. So again, just some eco-dyed uh, blank paper on the back, some stitching around the edges. And then this one here is a pair of some kind of swan, and the ticket there. This is a first day cover with a uh, swan stamp and, you know, when they're looking at each other it makes the shape of a heart. So that's inside one of these glassine envelopes. This here is a very beautiful um, sympathy card from the 40s. It's the vellum kind, so you can see through it a little bit. And it's the Lord is my shepherd. It's signed. And the ribbon kind of goes through here. Just gorgeous. Just a modern greeting card here, and it's in French. This is also a first day cover, and I had eco dyed it, and when I was letting it dry. I let it dry fully open so all the flaps open, but in my haste to get this beautiful project completed, I went ahead and added the seal before showing you what's inside. But it's just a couple of things like a postcard and a tag. But what was fun was embellishing the cover. So there was a Olympic symbol embossed into this envelope on this side, so I decided to cover that with some stamps and then this die cut. And then over here, this was left over from the ink of the actual envelope, so I added these stamps myself. And then over here I have uh, Raphael, the angel of healing a um, Russian postcard, another one with the, the 8 on there. And then this was also um, eco-dyed last summer. And in here I've got a couple of the tags that I made in the video last summer using Cottage Meadow. So I'm including those in there, and a couple of really, really old postcards. And then uh, I have these images that are from a box of uh, international, like, worldwide art. So they're all um, explained at the bottom here. So these could be used for journaling or for collage if uh, the recipient wants to do things like that with them. And then last but not least, uh, what ended up happening was when I finished with coffee dyeing all the paper to bind this uh, journal, it was a little too bulky. And the client was okay with having it chunky to begin with, but it was just a little too much. So I ended up just not using all of the paper, and instead I made an extra little journal. And I used the Tim Holtz um, on the cover here. So I simply distressed it a bit with some of the tape, and I made another little stamp cluster on the cover just to add a little bit of color. 
and then because this is a 12 by 12 uh, paper or cardstock, I had um, enough left over to do a side tuck here, and I included this, which is a painting by uh, Raphael, and this was requested. Uh, this particular image was requested, so I did some research and I was able to find one in the public domain, so I resized it to fit in this journal. So I didn't do too much in here, I simply used the extra paper that I wasn't going to bind into the big journal, and then I simply added a couple of little charms at the bottom of the um, of these tails. This was a really fun project for me. I enjoyed the challenge and uh, I can't wait to send it off to its forever home. I hope you're well and safe and I will see you all next time. Bye!